آستانه تشکیل اجلاس مجمع عمومی ملل متحد میخواهم از جانب مقاومت و مردم ایران توجه همه دولت ها و مجامع بین المللی را به سه مسئله اساسی جلب کنم اول یادآوری این واقعیت که این رژیم در جنگ با جامعه ایران و جامعه جهانی است دوم ضرورت توقف سیاست های بین المللی اشتباهی که عملا کمککار قاتلان مردم ایران است و دست فاشیزم دینی را در نقض حقوق بشر مردم ایران و جنگ و تروریزم در منطقه بازتر می کند و سوم یک سیاست سانسوری در قبال این رژیم شامل حقوق بشر برای تمام مردم ایران تحریم همه جانبه دیکتاتوری دینی و به رسمیت شناختن مقاومت مردم ایران و نبرد شورشگران برای سرنگونی آخوندها و آزادی مردم ایران You know you have my support anything I can do to get to the result of a non-nuclear free Iran with a government that allows the people to select and a government that protects the rights of the people An Iranian diplomat is currently awaiting trial in Belgium for allegedly masterminding a bomb plot against the NCRI, targeting its president, you, Madame Rajavi, and thousands of others, including members of my own staff from many other nations across the world gathering in Paris. Ladies and gentlemen, I've had the privilege of uh, doing many things in my life, but uh, none more worthwhile than being part of this great effort. in the cause of freedom for the oppressed people of Iran. I am deeply appreciate, appreciative of uh, the leadership that Mrs. Rajavi has provided and, this, and the 10 points that are Jeffersonian in their principles and hopefully someday will come to pass. But let's be very clear. The distance we have to go to Mrs. Rajavi's dream of a unified, peaceful, democratic Iran, an Iran that is back as part of the world of nations that are free, an Iran where people can freely travel to and from the country. That dream still has a lot of work to turn it into reality. I commend each of you for being personally involved. I want you to know that this kind of patriotism, this kind of dedication is what is necessary if we are to defeat dictatorships. And I think what you're doing is going to defeat the dictatorship. Is in May of this year, 387 of the 435 members of the U.S. House of Representatives wrote a statement in support of the extension of the arms embargo. And a great majority of Democrats there in the House of Representatives uh, supported that, that statement. So you have bipartisan support in Congress. To the world's attention, the struggle of the Iranian people for their freedom. Just in the last year, 1,500 brave Iranian people were killed by the mullahs because they protested against the regime's tyranny. 12,000 are in prison and are being tortured. We were reminded that there is no outrage the regime will not commit, no matter how loud the international community objects. When they tortured a confession out of Naveed Afkari, and in recent days, murdered him. We must hold the regime accountable and their enablers accountable for this crime. Iran, the nation, the people, is home to an ancient culture which has contributed to mankind in extraordinary ways in the arts, in literature, in the sciences. That's what the nature of the Iranian people are, rooted deeply in their culture. Their leaders are radical clerics of a radical brand of Shia Islam who seek not simply to dominate the region but destroy nations that are in their way. The government in Tehran continues to commit gross human rights violations against both its own people 
and in the conflicts that it supports across the region. They violated multiple legally binding arms embargoes established by the UN Security Council, and they continue to violate international restrictions by advancing their ballistic missile program. Iran's a force for destruction and destabilization in the Middle East and around the world. While in Congress we may have differing approaches about the best way to address the threat from Iran, rest assured that we remain united against the regime's fundamental abuses against its citizens, oppressing and denying fundamental rights to women, jailing peaceful activists, threatening journalists. Thank you again for the work you're doing on behalf of the Iranian people. The Mujahideen and Madame Rajavi, the women of peace, are the alternative for a lasting peace between East and the West. In the future, they may turn into an alternative for internal dialogue in Iranian society. Their survival gives hope, not only for freedom in Iran, but also for the relationship between East and West. Albania has given shelter to the Mujahideen opposition that was endangered in the camp Ashraf in Iraq. We have helped Mujahideens, but also ourselves from the negative influence of Tehran. Not long ago, the Albanian government expelled the ambassador of Tehran as I wanted.